I'm staying home to watch the rain You are young and life is long And there is time to kill today And then one day you find Ten years have got behind you No one told you when to run You missed the starting gun Thank you, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. Really like that one. That's a relief. Okay. Hello, everybody. I hope you're all very well. We are very well. My wife and I. I'm back in Johannesburg, and I am quaffing Badgeron Mountain White. What is the 
What is name? The white blend. White caper blend. Very good. Hmm. Anyway, that was a little beginning with some Floyd there, some Pink Floyd from the Dark Side of the Moon album, uh, Breathe and Time, and then the Breathe Reprise. And I have, as with a lot of these Floyd numbers that I do, I've really wanted for a long time to put an orchestra to it. I mean, I'd love to play it with a full band as well, but I'd also love to play it with a full orchestra. And so, well, while I was in the bush last time, I orchestrated it, and I really thoroughly enjoyed doing it and really thoroughly enjoyed playing it. I hope you enjoyed listening to it. So as I say, back in Johannesburg, we can hear the thunder of a late afternoon thunderstorm coming in, which makes this time of the year in what is otherwise a, um, well, I wouldn't say a tourist hotspot destination, uh, Johannesburg, but this time of the year it's thoroughly lovely. All the gardens are blooming. There are very pleasant smells all over the place, and you get these great big, huge, high felt thunderstorms rolling in around about this time of the day. And so it's very pleasant to be back here. Most of all, of course, it's pleasant to be back here because my dear wife is a in situ, as it were. Are there any questions? Oh, many of you are um, wishing me a happy birthday for next week. Thank you, yes. The 23rd of October is my birthday. I'll be 29 this year, I think. Yes, 29. Yes, you're a year older than me, that's correct. So I'm quite excited to be 29. I am heard, I've heard it's a really nice year, 29. Good. Okay, we'll move on to the next song, unless anybody has anything else to say. Uh, the next song will also be employing the Fender Stratocaster, American Standard. It is a Dave Matthews song. I do quite a lot of Dave Matthews songs. Uh, I really like Dave Matthews. That's why I do a lot of Dave Matthews songs. This particular one um, was written, or it was the favorite, of a chap called Leroy Moore, who was the trumpet player and I think he did a lot of other things in the band as well. And he sadly died. I don't know how he died. Um, just after, or just before this album was released, but he played on the recording of this particular song. And apparently this was his favorite song. And they don't play it very much live anymore. I'm not sure why. I think it's a, one of his best. It's from the album, uh, the Gru Big Whiskey and the Grugrax King. I don't know who, I think the Grugrax King is supposed to be Leroy Moore. I'm not sure and it talks about big whiskey and a lot of other confusing stuff and whether it has a meaning or not i don't know i don't think it does and the particular arrangement you're going to hear um, consists of some drums a bass and a trumpet and a trombone and me on this guitar here <coughs> kind of ring to it. Okay, here we go. Why I am for Dave Patricius. Here we go. A king of many 
David Matthews. Thank you for, to all of you who are going, woo! Very good, very good. So, I don't know what it's about, but I really like it. And I'm sure some of you do too, and I'm sure some of you don't, but that's okay. Now, I must drink further. Hmm. A lot of you also turning 29. Yeah, I know it's a good age. I think it's a good age to turn. Um, I'm looking forward to it, as I say. You will notice also this evening that I've dispensed with the beanie. And that is because I have now gone with what I call the criminal look. I'm growing an extensive beard and a bald head. And I'm attempting to look as intimidating, terrifying, and criminal as possible. I don't know why. Um, I certainly don't have enough tattoos to pass off as a criminal, but I'm going to do my best. Hmm. The cat. Where is the cat? Apparently the cat has left, so no, the cat is not enjoying this. The cat has departed. Not enjoying this at all. I don't think that's very nice of the cat. Right, any other questions? You're getting over how good that song was. Well, thank you. That's a relief. Good. Um, also, uh, I, I should mention at this, uh, at this stage that my wife has created <laughs> some merchandise for songs and stories. Can you believe it? You can own a T-shirt or coffee mug, and <laughs> these things can, can be purchased from Teespring. 
and we'll put the link uh, to the Teespring account um, and <laughs> in the description. I don't know, but <laughs> there's a special on the Teespring this week. So if you would uh, this weekend, this week, this weekend, till Sunday. till Sunday, you can buy your very own songs and stories T-shirt designed by my good wife, uh, guitars and a signature, and you know, I mean, if you'd like to drink coffee out of a mug with a neon guitar on it, this is your opportunity. What is that? Yes, I just need a van with no windows, that's absolutely right. Oh, who? Pete. Hello, Peter. Um, I really like quite a few female artists, and I was actually going down memory lane this week with one, and it's not a very original one, really. It's Belinda Carlisle, who just has... I think the most amazing voice, I don't know if she still does, well she does actually, she's still singing, but I was going through some of the old 80s and 90s performances and I just thought she was great. I loved the songs that she that she sang. They were very poppy and um, not very kind of original I suppose uh, from the point of view is in that when somebody says, you know, who's your favorite artist, you expect to say someone obscure so that it makes you seem sophisticated. Uh, I haven't done that. So she was definitely one of my favorites. I love her voice. Uh, Brandy Carlisle, there's two Carlisles. I really like her too. Um, I always liked that Australian girl, what's her name? It's gone out of my head. Natalie Imbruglia, I really enjoyed her. Um, Stevie Nicks, I quite liked too. I found listening to her voice on its own um, for too long a bit harsh because it's got quite a, it's got a very, un it's got a unique timbre to it that you need to be kind of in the mood for, I find. But when I am in the mood for it, I think she's incredible. Um, I used to quite like Jewel as well. I feel like I don't any more hugely. I like her old stuff, uh, you know, as a kind of folk singer. And I mean, my the very first female artist I ever really enjoyed was uh, was Joan Baez, an unbelievable voice. So there's a whole list of them. I'm not going to pick one. Yeah. Sue, my favorite driving tunes. Um, you know, it really varies. I don't listen to a lot of music when I drive anymore. I normally listen to audiobooks because they help me stay awake. Unless I'm really starting to fall asleep, in which case I'll put on something that I can sing to. And so that will often be some Pink Floyd. Um, Take On Me by AHA is always a good one to really get the blood flowing through you because it's so difficult to sing if you sing it in the same register that Morton, ha Morton Harkett sings it. Um, Dave Matthews. I normally play songs that I can sing to in the car so that I can stay awake. Uh, yeah, I guess those would be them. Okay. Right, the first original for this evening. You've all heard before. This is a slightly updated version of Owls. And for those of you who haven't heard it, I wrote it... Uh, well, when I was at Juma in the Sabi Sands, in the bush. But I wrote it about a time that I spent, a very magical time during a difficult part of my life, in the shadow of the Drakensberg Mountains of the high of, um, of Mpumalanga, so just outside of Hutzbreit and up in Swadini, where, believe it or not, they shoot uh, aus the Australian I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. They weren't shooting it at the time. And it's just a lovely kind of warm, verdant, almost tropical, but very shaded because of the big trees and big forests. And it was written on the back of hearing a wood owl calling in the night. So this is owls. And the entire camp at Juma when I was living there was subjected to this as I learnt, uh, sort of learned it, wrote it and recorded it. My wife is nodding. She always says, play owls, play owls as a joke. I don't know if she actually likes it or not. I do like it. She says she likes it. Here we go. <laughs> Oh. 
haunting song for her love. It floats up gently as he circles the moon. He folds his wings and dies for home. He folds his wings and dies for home. Silent wing beats barely ripple the night air. Her eyes shining like two distant lonely stars. He swoops down gently to the branch where she sits and joins his heart to hers. He joins his heart to hers. I catch a scent in the cool of the dawn. Your eyes float with the morning star. I touch your flesh with my spirit's lonely voice. I hear you dance through the mist. Yava shall is calling your name. Yava shall is calling your name. Patchwork moonlight reaches through the dark leaves. The sweet song now. A haunting duet of old, of new, of birth, of life. A song older than the sky. A song older than the sky. A sparrow wakes in the embers of sunrise. Feathers ruffle in the cold morning air. A spider folds up a dew sparkling web. A new day is born for me. A new day is born for me. I catch a scent in the cool of the dawn. Your eyes float with the morning star. I touch your flesh with my spirit's lonely voice. I hear you dance through the mist. The hour shall is calling your name. The hour shall is calling your name.
Is that an yeah. owl? Yes, yeah, well done. That's very funny. Okay, Thank you. You liked owls. <laughs> okay. Good. Thanks. We've de- dedicated to Sebwig's family, yes, Sebwig and his unborn born children. For those of you who don't know who that is, there's an egg, an unborn egg of a spotted eagle owl. Will you turn off the amplifier for this guitar, please? Thank you. Right. Now there will be a small cracking sound as I plug the other one in. Sorry. Okay, getting there. Okay, here it comes. You ready? One, two, three. Okay, it's all over. It's all over, everybody. Now, this next song requires a retune of the guitar. It's played in an unusual tuning. The E string, this one which with a capo on it is a G, but you don't need to worry about that, um, is re- detuned to a D, or in this case. An F. And so it's the top string. Question? Thank you, Martin. Um, Marcy, it just takes a bit of time to write these things, but yes, I agree. There's one on the brew, as it were. It's about me. Huh? Is it about me? It's about you, yes. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's called Why I Must Behave. Right, this next one is just the most atmospheric kind of a song. And as per the last concert, we were going to do one that my wife chose, and this is the one that she chose for this week's concert. Um, And it took me a little while to learn, because, I mean, when you listen to it, it sounds pretty simple, but I'd never learned this finger-picking pattern before, but it's pretty simple, and a lot of people learn it pretty soon on. It's just a little tricky to keep going while you're singing, and so it took me a while to learn. And it's by an Australian artist called Xavier Rush. Rudd. Rudd, sorry, Xavier Rudd. Xavier Rush was a New Zealand number eight. A very good one. Anyway, uh, this one is not about or written by the New Zealand number eight, Xavier Rush. This is written by Xavier Rudd, the Australian uh, songwriter. He's done some amazing stuff, and a lot with actually a South African group. You should check it out. It's really good. This one I first heard on a um, friend of ours. That we had an absolutely mad cameraman who worked at uh, Safari Live for a long time. He, a wonderful, wonderful man called Andrew. And Andrew r- put a video together with this song on it about a trip that they did to, to Zimbabwe. And since then, I've really loved the song. I'd never heard it before. It's just very atmospheric, very peaceful, and lovely. And it's all about, I suppose, listening to your inner voice and turning down the river, as it were. Stop, don't, not swimming against the tide, but going with the flow. Here we go. Which way the wind blows when this day is done? Breathe, breathe in the air, 
set your intentions green with care tomorrow's a new day for everyone brand new moon and a brand new sun so follow follow the sun direction of the bird direction of love breathe breathe in the air cherish this moment cherish this breath tomorrow's a new day for everyone Brand new day and a brand new sun When you feel this life coming down on you Like a heavy weight When you feel this crazy society Adding to the strain Take a stroll to the nearest waters And remember your place Many moons have risen and fallen Long before you came So which way the wind blows What does your heart say? Follow, follow the sun Which way the wind blows And this day is done Cherish this breath Tomorrow's a new day for everyone a Brand new day and a brand new sun Let's follow, follow the sun Thank you very much. Does have lovely lyrics. Now he doesn't only do. I mean, I find the um, I find the <laughs> the picking pattern and the words tricky enough. But he does it with a harmonica as well, and tapping his foot on a little kind of what was essentially a foot drum. It's a block of wood with a microphone underneath it. Um, I suppose he's had a bit more time to practice and did well. He's probably got about a ton more talent as well. Okay. Let's make sure we're in tune. You have a confession? Yes. Yes? We have been discussing your beard. You've been discussing my beard? You've all decided that the grey part is invisible to the camera and so it looks like I've got mutton chops. Great. Mutton chops are, I'm go That's to awesome. So shall I, I'm going to shave it off tomorrow then. No, Say goodbye no, to it. Please don't shave it. No, it's gone. Mutton chops. I had a couple of teachers at school who had mutton <laughs> chops. One of which um, was, he was just odd. The other was an Irishman, a mad Irishman who 
taught us how to play rugby in the first year of high school and he was very excitable and um, he, uh, Mr Smythe, he was a chemistry teacher, I don't know where he is now, uh, I don't know if he's still alive actually but he was very excitable and he had long mutton chops. Right. Yes, well, I wonder. I do like Crowded House very much. You'll find that Neil Finn's voice, however, is um, well. It's it's he's definitely what one might describe as a tenor, and I am definitely what one would describe as a bass. And so, to sing his songs, I have to rearrange them. Um, but there's no reason I couldn't do that. I don't know why I haven't actually. I, I love Crowded House. I think they're great. Jamie Patterson just sent through a message saying she enjoyed Xavier Rudd. Thank you, pajamas. Yes, Sue, there are plans for wildlife filmmaking, and in fact, we were supposed to be in Chobe right now, uh, making a film for Chobe 4x4 and for ourselves, a second or third season of Me, My Wife, and the Wildlife. Unfortunately, uh, COVID has closed the borders, and so we've postponed for a month to hopefully go in the last two weeks of November, but I'm actually not sure if Botswana has deigned to open their borders or not. We don't know yet. So I'm going to get on to organising that hopefully next week. And with any luck, we'll be going through uh, in the second two weeks of November, which will be marvellous fun. Okay, here we go. Next one. This one is another original, uh, which generally means you've heard it before if you've been watching all of these things and it's I played it the other night and that's why I'm playing it now I was invited down to a bush dinner at Londolozi where uh, many of you will know that I used to work and so I don't work there anymore obviously and I work up way north of Londolozi and my friend Duncan who's the general manager phoned me up and said listen would you like to come down We've got a couple who of South Africans, lovely South African people who love being out here, and we're having a bush dinner up in the northern sector of the property. Would you like to join us and play a few songs? So I thought, uh, y yes, yes, ab ab absolutely I would. And down I went. And this particular song <coughs> I used to play in the Boma uh, when I did work at Londolozi, and it was a change over time, and I don't know if you know anything about these lodges, but... Basically, what happens is that um, they go in cycles, the staff go in cycles, and you have a situation where sometimes you get an influx of new guides, normally men, maybe one woman, which was the case in this case, in this particular time, and you have an influx of camp managers, which are basically hosts, uh, and they're very seldom there for a long time, or they didn't used to be. That's much more of a career than it used to be, but back then it was normally women who did the camp managing, men and one or two women who did the guiding, and if they all came in at the same time, no one had paired off yet, and it gave the lodge this kind of uber-charged atmosphere because everyone was trying to impress everyone else. And because of it, there's a real kind of party atmosphere around the place. And I used to play in the Boma at night, and the guests, we were, the rule was you're allowed to stay in the Boma and do what you like as long as there's at least one guest enjoying it with you. So we'd make sure that there was a guest enjoying it with us. Whether they were enjoying it or not, I'm not sure. But there had to be a guest there, and so there was always a guest probably passed out on a table or lying down in the Boma fast asleep uh, so that the rest of us could be there having a fat drink and a big sing-song. And I used to play this in the main camp, in the Varty camp, and uh, we'd be, I'd do a couple of songs, and then from the other camps, the smaller camps, the staff would come filtering in, and slowly around at the back near the bar, there'd be this crowd brewing, and they would um, all have drinks, obviously, and then I'd play this song, and I remember it, the amazing feeling of after, you know, I don't know, six or seven weeks of doing it they all knew the words and so they'd sing along with it and it was my own song which I remember being just the most tremendous feeling of having all these people and everyone was so happy and so unencumbered by any worries and there was 
everyone was flirting with everyone else and no one had paired off and no, it was a long time ago my dear I mean I was really young I was probably if I'm 29 now I was I was about 10 then anyway that's why I played so I played the song again the other night at this bush dinner and it was great fun and Duncan says oh this brings back memories and he sat down in his chair and he actually married the w one of the women who was part of that whole sort of group uh, she was the only female guide in uh, our little crew okay here we go town one day on a wind that misted up her eyes her hair a mist a shade of yellow and boots that stretched all the way to her thighs she had a certain confidence a look that held a man's gaze she walked up to the counter where i was standing and she whispered in my face she said in the moonlit valley Where I waited wishing time For her to find me Grass whispering a name On a murmur lips softly in the still air Stayed a while, we drank a bit, and she talked to me about life like it's a riddle. I sang a song I thought she'd like, but she started talking in the middle. She said I looked like I was hiding, and I said, you know, you remind me of the sea. She danced in a flowing skirt, the colors of the joker I dreamed. Of that moonlit valley Where I waited wishing time For her to find me Rouse right whispering a name On a murmur Lips softly in the still air She disappeared, she left me without a bite I don't know if I'll see you again But I'd be stupid not to try Maybe on a mountain top Where the land meets the sea She'll be dancing in that skirt again The colors of the joker I dream of that moonlit valley Where I waited wishing time For her to find me Grass whispering a name On a murmur Lips softly in the stealer Touch me like a woman
Oh, the encore. <laughs> No, I only do one. Steve. So I kept two songs. Yes. Um, Emma Bruce throughout. Any heavy metal numbers that I like? Heavy metal numbers that I like. Um, yeah, I do like a few. Well, it depends what you describe as metal. I love quite a lot of ACDC. It's kind of hard rock more than metal. A little bit of Metallica. <laughs> massive genre for me I must say but every so often I do like some quite heavy rock I think more hard rock than heavy metal though the when s people start going excuse me here <laughs> it just doesn't really do it for me you know I mean I appreciate the skill of especially the guitarists and the drummers unbelievably fast drummers but really it just doesn't sound like music to me but I totally understand that to many people it does so I'm not judging it I'm just doesn't do for my ear. I don't have a very sophisticated ear. Anything else? Oh, thank you very much. Some of you have bought some songs and stories merchandise. Please do send us pictures of you in it or drinking from it. That would be lovely. Yes, Spaz, I did sound like a demented bulldog because that is precisely what some of these people sound like when they are singing. Okay. The encore, I'm so surprised to have to play an encore. I didn't prepare anything. Just so happens that I have my loop station here. Aren't I lucky? Uh, this encore is, I can't believe I haven't played this before. When I was thinking about what I would play, I looked back over the list of songs that we've done and I realized that I hadn't actually played the song. And it's one I used to play all the time. It is about women's inhumanity to man, as always. And there are two versions. One goes like this. Then you need a big band to come in. But I don't have that. So we're going to do the other one off the unplugged album from... Eric Clapton. Here we go. It is called Layla. Turn my whole world up. 
upside down Layla You got me on my knees Layla I'm begging Donna please Layla Darling won't you ease my worried mind I'm Layla You got me on my knees Layla Begging you, darling, please, Layla. Darling, won't you ease my worried mind? story about that song I used to play it um, at uh, when I was playing at pubs or at restaurants around the place people would kindly when I lived in Johannesburg uh, give me gigs from time to time especially wonderful woman called Beth Cameron who had a place she doesn't have it anymore she now lives in Paris but she had a place um, in a bird haven which is a suburb of South Africa and she'd bring me along on a Sunday afternoon and I'd play and I'd do some four hours of playing just about and four hours of music is a lot. And people don't listen when they're having supper you know, or lunch unless they get fairly well oiled. And sometimes they did by three o'clock. But I'd, I'd let this loop run. And then just play and play. opportunity to practice F major because it's in D minor. Sometimes you'll almost fall asleep, and there are a number of songs that used to be like that. Anyway, that's the end of the concert. Yes? Linda and the party says, How do you remember all the lyrics? I don't, Linda Poli. I don't remember all the lyrics at all. Um, I have them in front of me. I'm not good at remembering lyrics. Um, I, I can, if I, if I play every night, then they come and like that. The, um, the Moonlit Valley, Layla. Uh, they don't. I've done them so often that they've just embedded themselves. But the others, you know, I haven't been playing like I have been playing over the last little while for a long time, and so yeah, I just have them in front of me. And I notice that a lot of artists do this. A lot of really kind of world famous ones. I've seen Sting with a auto cue. Um, Gilmore has used an auto cue, I think. Uh, a lot of guys do it. I know Paul McCartney's abiding worry when he goes on stage is that he's going to forget the lyrics to his songs. Now, I mean, he's, I know he's a bit older than me, but I mean, how often has he sung all his magnificent songs? Maybe one more question. Yes. Are there any Zulu songs? Yes, Robin, I do know some Zulu songs. Um, Johnny Clegg songs in Zulu. What's the time? Shall we do Was a Friday quickly to finish? Okay. Hey? 
Rent will understand. Yes, rent will understand. Okay, this was a Friday, a Zulu song. I won't talk about it, and I won't talk about it afterwards. I will see you after uh, a week. Oh, I don't know when we'll do this again. Whenever we do. Okay, thank you very much for joining us. Here we go. What's a Friday? Bye. 